Hey everyone, Mr. Gray through IS here, and in today's video, I'm going to be installing these frosted RGB sequential daytime running lights. These, just like my tail lights, are from TensorWorks. Um, you can use my code Gray through IS to get 10% off anything from their site. Your entire cart, 10% off. Um, but these are a full replacement of these guys right here. This is going to take their place. Um, these have dancing animations. It has a sequential turn signal. It does any color you want. There's a whole app for it. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to install them. I'm going to take you through every step uh, to install these, except for taking off the bumper. There are much better videos out there than what I could do right now for how to take off this bumper. So I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description. It's a five minute video, so it kind of shows you uh, how easy it is to take these off. It's not hard, it's just a little bit annoying. There's a lot of things you have to take off, but it comes off pretty easily. Um, once I get the bumper off, I'm going to show you what you have to do with these. All right, the bumper is off. Uh, this is the second time I've taken my bumper off on my own because I had to install my fog lights. and. I can definitely say it is way easier the second time. Uh, like I said, it's not hard. Don't be afraid. You got this. Um, this is really all you have to take out. These, 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 and those three. And the rest is just sliding it off. And I'm plugging a couple plugs. But you got this. Easy. All right. And from here, we're going to remove the OEM daytime running lights. Um, and let's see if I can get a good angle. These are what the two screws look like, the ones you have to take out. Evidently, you're going to, well, unscrew all the screws. And then there's one hidden clip that's kind of holding this in. It's a push clip or a pop clip, whatever you call them. But if you pull this back, oh, look at that little guy. Um, there's this little pop clip right here that's holding it from, well, here, that's the best way to show it probably, right here. And you're just going to put a little flat hand under that like so and pry it up and then you're going to pull the clip out uh, if you're familiar with these types of clips then this should be pretty simple uh, i'm starting with this side it doesn't really matter what side you start with right and before every install that requires a decent amount of work uh, i like to test what i'm installing especially if it's something like lights um, not because i'm lazy just because i'm precautious um, <laughs> so pretty much in a bag it's going to come with a bundle of wires uh, and it's split by a module box right here uh, and coming out of one side of the module box is a very long wire and coming out the left side, the other side, is evidently the same thing but a shorter one. And you're going to want the longer one to run to the right side because you need to tap into a plug right here that's only on the left side and this wire is pretty short. Um, so I'll kind of show all this again in a little bit. Uh, this is just to test it. So pretty much you're going to take the gray connector coming from the module and plug it into the original power to your daytime running lights that would have plugged in down here. And then you're gonna tap into your headlights on either side and that's how you're gonna get that turn signal function. So you should have a little double connector coming out of this uh, yellow one. Hold on, let me put this box up here so it's not yanking on the wire. But there's a double gray connector coming out and you're gonna unplug the original headlight connector, it kinda looks like this, and plug and play it. So plug it into here and plug the new connector into here. I'll show you kinda what that looks like on this side so you're not like, wait, I don't really get it. So what do you do is you pull this tab down like that, it should lift off, wiggle it a little bit, and boom, it comes off. And then from here, you're going to plug the one that's given back into there. See how it looks very similar to this one? So you plug it in, boom, it clicks, and then you plug the old connector back into this um, one that comes out of the harness. I kind of need two hands for this, but this is what it looks like. Evidently, you do this and you push until they clip. All clicked in, and all you gotta do is plug this into each daytime running light. There's gonna be one on either side and we can test them. So the connectors are pretty short because they're meant to be plugged into a bumper that's right up next to it. So I have jack stands holding up my lights uh, close enough so I can plug in the connector. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and plug them in. Don't forget to take this little red cap off. It's like a protector um, and you can go ahead and test them. All 
All right, well, I couldn't talk over that last clip because it was connected Bluetooth to these and my car's Bluetooth is also connected to my phone. So long story short, they work. Uh, they are super cool. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to mess around with all the modes and colors and patterns and <laughs> animations. It's so cool. Um, yep, they work. So let's work on getting them installed. Pop these old ones off. All right, I got the first one out. Uh, just make sure you unravel this cable where it's like raveled in all there. Unravel that. There's only a couple screws you have to take out. It's these two right here, which go right there and they look like this. And then also that clip that's on the top hidden behind this rubber seal. But just be careful when you're pushing this out uh, once you've got the screws and this clip off because it's gonna fall right out. And then do the same to the other side. Once you got both of your OEM daytime running lights out, you can go ahead and install the new ones. Uh, the same way you took them out, the two screws and the clip. All right, I got one down and I have one more to go. It's super easy, thankfully, because it's all plug and play. Um, bolts right in. Uh, this edge right here kind of clicks in when you push it. So just make sure that clicks on both of them when you push it. Um, and yeah, I'll be back once I install this one. They are both installed. As you can see, easy, easy. Uh, and then from here, you just plug it in the same I showed you. Leave it as is if you still have it plugged in. Attach this to the headlight part on either side. And then the plug for each daytime running light should be here on either side. And the only other thing you have to mess with is this module right here. You want to mount in a nice safe spot where water won't get to it. Thankfully that's kind of easy to do. So uh, let me look around for a second. I'll find a spot. Uh, and then this wire, uh, you can put it however you'd like. Um, I'll show you how I put it. Okay, so I'm routing the long wire that goes to the right side. I did it up and over this little air intake and it comes out right through, let's see if I can show it right through here. There's a little passageway where you can travel lines from here to here. So I put it through there and it's traveling right. Here's a better way of showing it. It's traveling right there and it's not against the, um, it's not against the radiator. You don't want to put it against that. Uh, and I'm traveling it across right under here. And then there's another passageway. You can kind of, let's see if I can show you yeah, and get my finger through it right there. It's this little flap and it comes up and over this other air inlet and now i have it over here again uh, and then i'm going to plug it back in how i showed you and also what i did with this wire that i ran across the whole under part here is i kind of tucked it down and ran it along the side of the under tray down in here so it's kind of not just chilling up here um, and it's also not touching the radiator vents it's down below it all right, it's all plugged up and in again. Uh, if you wanna route this a different way, by all means go for it. This is just the way I routed it. Um, it works. Uh, and then you have both your plugs sitting here on either side. Oops, that's my fog light one. Here it is. Uh, ready to plug into both of these DRLs. All right, so for this module box, I'm going to mount it right here, right through hanging like this so it kind of looks OEM and it's out of the way and these have to stay dry right here so this is a good place to mount it. I'm just going to put a zip tie through here and through uh, this little screw hole and hang it right here. You have the aftermarket DRLs in. You'll no longer need this little white connector right there so just make sure you kind of tuck it up in a way so it's not dangling down by the uh, under tray part right here. Um, and then from here, you can go ahead and scoot the bumper closer and the closer you scoot it, the closer they'll get to fitting. Um, you can kind of route this however you want. I'm probably just going to connect it up and see how it fits that way on both sides. And, um, if you happen to have fog lights, make sure you plug your fog lights back in, make sure you plug this black connector back down there and make sure you plug all the connectors in on this side. And that's about it. You would just go ahead and reinstall your bumper. It's also not a bad idea to test them one more time uh, before you put the bumper back on. Yep, all good. Uh, get to installing your bumper. And the bumper is back on. Oh my Atlanta. I'm loving how they're looking. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything I'm doing here, um, drop it in the comments. 
uh, DM me on Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. Remember that. Um, <laughs> but dang, let's show a little unlock. Damn. And uh, I'll pull it out into the light so you guys can see what it looks like in daylight. Gosh, I'm extremely excited. Um, as you can tell, they are very diffused. Uh, my car's a little dirty, I'm sorry, but oh my gosh, they are so extremely bright. This is one thing that I was very excited about when I saw these is they are much brighter than the OEM ones. The light is diffused much nicer. You don't see the individual little LEDs and wow, 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 it looks good. Um, I will change them to a different color and show you in the next clip. Alrighty, so that's uh, what they look like. It's kind of hard to see them in the daytime on camera. Thankfully in real life, they're extremely bright. Uh, you can adjust the brightness. You can adjust the speeds of the animations. There's like a hundred different animations you can pick from. Uh, infinite colors, because there's a whole color wheel. It's so cool. I love this. Um, I will show you what it looks like at nighttime in the next clip. All right, so this is the car at nighttime. Uh, I don't have the daytime running lights turned all the way up um because I'll show, I'll show you how it looks it's pretty bright on camera yeah it's a little distorted on camera but it is so bright and it's so cool how you can adjust the brightness on these this is what the app looks like this little scroll wheel right here is how you select all the different types of animations there are 100 animations uh you can choose to select through each of the animation like plus one or minus one with these little plus and minuses here um this is the little scroll wheel to choose, as you can see in the background, kind of what color you want. And you can save those colors here as a uh, customized, like favorite. I just have them all default. And this is your um, like default little color selector right here. Um, and right below it, right here is the brightness. As you can tell, it adjusts the brightness. Uh, and then this is the speed of the animation. So let's say I go to do animation. One of my favorites is uh, actually, where is it? It's right here in 99. So if I go and do this animation and I slow it down, as you can see, it slows the animation down a lot. So if I go ahead and speed it up, as you can see, it speeds up the animation a whole bunch. And this is how you select the different animations you just go plus or minus uh, and then also one of my favorites is in the 70s right here it's super neat i'll do a couple animations for you guys the most tremendous new <laughs> oh my gosh i love these so much it's so cool and uh let me show you kind of how the brightness of the daytime running lights is so i'm gonna turn the brightness all the way up super bright as you can see 
just with these uh, red lights but let me go ahead and do the white lights for you all right so it's almost as if I have headlights on it's super bright they're so crisp it's kind of hard to tell on camera because of how bright they are here let me turn them up a little bit they are so crisp I really like them definitely recommend these back to daytime mr. gray 3 is and that's what it looked like at nighttime um, I appreciate you guys for watching this install like I said earlier if you have any questions whatsoever let me know comment DM me on Instagram I think I might be the first one um, doing this install on YouTube so that's kind of a cool thing um, speaking of YouTube I just hit 1400 subscribers Thank you to all of you. I really, really appreciate it. It means so much to me. My statistics on YouTube are going up and up and up, and it's just so cool to see. I, I love this so much. I love doing this, and the support you guys give me is even better. Thank you so much. Uh, a couple little changes you might have noticed is I now, well, uh, my windshield, it's not so clear, but I won't talk about that. But I now have an Inspire uh, banner on my windshield. It's gloss black, so it kind of blends in with the car, and you kind of have to look for it to see it. It's very stealthy, and to go with the gloss black uh, grown-up look. All of my rear decals are now gloss black and uniform in size, so it looks very proportional. Uh, I have the Lexus Society one, the Army Trix M-Force, Megan Racing, the Mini Vinyl Company on Instagram. Uh, they're the ones that made these vinyls for me, uh, besides Inspire. Inspire, he made that one as well as this front one right here. Oh man, I really like how sleek it is. Um, very uh, subtle um, and it's cool because when you step back, you don't notice it, it looks very sleek, but as soon as you walk up close, you're like, oh shoot, he's got it. Um, <laughs> but those are a couple of the subtle changes that I've done um, besides the not so subtle DRLs we just installed. If you'd like these DRLs, hit up Tanselworks. I'll link them in the description. They'll be one of the first links. Uh, make sure to use my code to get 10% off. And these DRLs are a fair price. They're nothing crazy uh, for what you're getting really. Um, and I absolutely love them. Other than that, I appreciate you guys for watching. This has been Mr. Gray 3IS and I'll see you in the next one.